Hey guys, Ricky here. Welcome back to the John Deere Garage. I haven't posted a video in a while, and I apologize for that. I just ran out of stuff to make videos on. Um, currently sitting on my bedroom floor. I've got major updates for you guys. Um, sorry, my breath. I just ran upstairs. I'm excited. Um, the 318's engine is all done. I should be going to get it next week. We can get it back in and uh, get that thing running and use her. So I got this from my mechanic today. Here's the packet and I'll read it to you and show you what's in it. Alright, for starters, there's the Onan's um, serial number and the model number. And here are the problems with it. There was a significant oil leak found. Leak was caused by a failed gasket at the oil filter housing slash engine block. Other cover gaskets were found to be hard and brittle, seeping oil as well. Engine oil leaks have been ongoing, causing dirt and grime to build up around the engine cooling fins, causing engine to run extremely hot. I had that problem when I'd get done mowing. I could fry an egg on the hood. Second piston ring on number two cylinder was broken, allowing engine to consume oil and smoke. Large amount of carbon buildup found in combustion chambers leads me to believe that this was an ongoing problem for a long time. This is my mechanic talking. Ignition coil positive mounting stud was broken. Points had burnt contacts and narrow gap. Fuel pump leaking and NLA, which I have no idea what that means. The stator winding slash alternator was shorted to a ground and likely not providing proper AC current to the voltage regulator. This failure was most likely caused by the severe engine temperatures this engine experienced from lack of cooling due to oil leak. That was the problems found. Now here's the work he did on it. Disassemble and remove engine shrouding, flywheel, intake manifold, and exhaust assembly. Power wash and steam clean engine block and all shrouding. Disassemble engine block by removing oil pan, oil filter housing, cylinder heads, and camshaft cover. Remove PTO clutch and attaching parts. Remove PTO crankshaft seal. Remove both piston assemblies, check cylinder bore and crankshaft. Then he made a parts list and placed the orders for the parts. Then we come down here and he reconditioned both cylinder bores with a two and three quarter inch ball hone. Assembly, assemble new piston assemblies onto connecting rods. Sorry for the shaky footage, guys. Install ring sets and install piston assemblies into the cylinder block. Sandblast cylinder heads, clean valve seats and valves, adjust valve clearance to spec, install cylinder heads with new gaskets, replace replace gasket on oil filter housing and install onto the engine block. Install new oil filter, install new oil sensor, and install a new seal onto the camshaft cover and install cover with new gasket. Install new PTO seal, install valve covers with new gaskets, paint engine block with high temperature paint, install new f points and condenser and adjust gap to 0 .016 inches, install new stator and reinstall flywheel, paint engine shrouds, clean carburetor and intake manifold, um, paint intake manifold, clean starter and new get and Wait a minute. Where am I? Clean starter and bench test. Sorry. Lubricate lubricate starter bendix and paint starter. Reinstall starter. Reinstall intake manifold with new gaskets. Install muffler and exhaust pipes. Install new exhaust gaskets. Replace one broken muffler clamp and install new voltage regulator. Install new wiring for main coil and points. Install new style fuel pump and fuel lines. Fill engine with 30W engine oil. Reinstall PTO clutch and adjust air gap. 
run the engine and fine-tune low-speed fuel mixture. Adjust Governor Linkage run engine for approximately approximately 20 minutes and check it over. Reinstall engine on pallet. Which is what I made to ha let him be able to carry it around. So anyway, guys, that was the problems found for my own in B43 and what my mechanic did for it. Now, don't get me wrong. I know how to rebuild engines. I just wanted this done by John Deere. Because I really didn't want to screw something up. I wanted it to be perfect. Now here we got some pictures of my engine. Before and after pictures. So this is what she looked like when I dropped her off. I have the, oil, or the air filter pan in my garage. She was all crusty and dirty. Um, this is at my mechanic's garage. There she is getting torn apart. There's the block with the camshaft in it. In the cylinder heads on there. That's the old piston and connecting rod, and I believe that's a new piston because it's shinier. Here he is putting valves in the piston back in after the um, cylinder was bored. There are the cylinder heads, um, they were sandblasted, that's why they're all grayish, you see some black up in the corner on this one, right there. And here is engine reassembly, heads are going back onto the block, that's the PTO clutch crankshaft, that's where the flywheel would go, like right on the back there. Now, here is the engine painted. He painted the heads, too. And installed a new one of these. That there's a, That's the stator, I think. Could be wrong. And there's the final product. One refurbished Onan B43G engine. With a freshly painted flywheel cover. All the rest of the engine tins are painted. Now here's a side view of it. That's the pallet he um, was talking about that I built. So yeah, she looks pretty clean, guys. And he said it runs phenomenally. It should, since how it was just rebuilt. Well, anyway, guys, that's all we have for today. I just thought I'd share that with you. Sorry it's no John Deere thing, like a physical tractor, but it's something for John Deere. Now, I'm going to keep this because it has um a lot of good stuff in here on what he did, like the type of oil to run in it, what to bore the cylinder to, what to set the points cap to, or not bore the cylinder, hone it. Sorry. Um. Yep. And keep that because it's got the model and serial number on the top there. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm not going to be able to get a video this weekend. I am going on vacation. Um. But anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Um. Go check out my new channel. The, the Ski Doo Shop. That's where I do my snowmobile videos for the winter. And... Don't forget to comment and like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.